What I am about to show you was the website for Republican North Carolina congressional candidate Bo Hines way back in the month of June. Right up top, the website led with a quote from Hines saying, I am 100 percent pro-life. When you went down to the issues, a section called Life and Family was literally front and center. And when you clicked on it, you got this, quote, Bo Hines will always defend the pro-life movement. The word always is pretty funny there because this is Bo Hines' website today. Not only is there no mention of abortion or of Bo Hines being pro-life, the site dropped the life and family section altogether, just like gone, Kaiser Soze style. Over in Colorado's new 8th district, Republican candidate Barbara Kirkmeyer removed language saying she would defend the sanctity of life from her website and took down a message of her speaking at an anti-abortion rally earlier this year. That's all stuff that used to be on the very front page of her website. Down in Virginia, Yesley Vega, the Republican candidate for Virginia's 7th district, made a teeny tiny change to her Twitter bio. Here is her Twitter profile back in July, side by side with her Twitter profile today. Everything is exactly the same except for one sentence, which has been cut. Yesley Vega no longer mentions that she was an appointee of President Donald Trump. It sort of seems like she maybe doesn't want that association anymore. The reason I'm cherry picking these Republican House candidates is because all of their races are turning out to be way closer than anyone predicted. And clearly, some of these Republicans are getting pretty nervous. I'm Ravana, and welcome back to Rebel HQ. I can't think of a better combination than Republicans and hypocrisy. As poll after poll after poll has shown, the American people, by and large, did not want Roe v. Wade overturned. It was the Republican minority, and not even all of it, that wanted Roe v. Wade overturned. And now that it's happened, these candidates are shaking in their boots as they realize midterms are this November, and the people are not on our side. That following the Supreme Court's reversal of Roe v. Wade, Democrats are benefiting from a surge of new energy that's translating into increased turnout. Overnight, an upset in upstate New York. Democrat Pat Ryan pulling off a special election win in a closely watched swing district that voted for Presidents Obama, then Trump, then Biden. While his Republican opponent, Mark Molinaro, leaned into GOP messaging on inflation and crime, Ryan remained laser focused on abortion rights. And of course, who could ever forget the massive backtrack? Probably the strongest example of this by Arizona Republican Senate candidate Blake Masters. Most people support common sense regulation around abortion. Republican U.S. Senate nominee Blake Masters, surrounded by his children, trying to reset the debate over abortion rights. I support a ban on very late term and partial birth abortion. And most Americans agree with that. Just after this digital video dropped, Masters' campaign site scrubbed strict anti-abortion language. Before, Masters wrote he's 100 percent pro-life, calling Roe v. Wade a horrible decision, then listed a series of strict stances on abortion. Now, a softer tone. Roe went from horrible to a bad decision. The words 100 percent pro-life removed from this section. And that list of positions is shorter. Don't let these Republican candidates rewrite history. We know what they supported. And the voters know what they supported, too. And I hope it comes back to bite them this November.